Chairman of the Board of Management, Ms. Mark Boones, Principal, Ms. Julia Bennett, Featured Speaker, President of the Institute of Illinois, Ms. Stephen Falls, Relative of Sir John A. Ali, Mr. Rich Ali, colleagues, especially invited guests, students, ladies, and gentlemen. A pleasant good morning to you on this Founders Day. This morning, I'm going to invite Mr. Mark Rose, the Chairman of the Board of Management, acting to welcome us to this Presentation so successful. 
Um, thanks to each and every one of you. So again, Master of Ceremonies, Ms. Cherise British, Chairman of the Board of Management, Mr. Mark Groves, Principal, Ms. Julia Beckles, Relative of Sir John B. Ali, Mr. Richie Ali, Colleagues, Specially Invited Guests, Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning. It is always a pleasure to visit this lovely facility, although the business of life prevents me from coming often. So much so this morning, like Mr. Ali and myself, we were using the wrong route because we don't come to the Andrew that often. So we didn't really like that. There were roads closed and so on, but we're here and thankfully we are. Thank you, Madam Principal, for extending a warm welcome to me. It is much appreciated. Today I have been asked to address you briefly, and briefly it will be, on the topic success through adversity. Given all that we have gone through in the last two years, this subject is so appropriate for this morning. And I love that you find it as your theme for this week. For this brief moment, I ask that you pay attention as this has been prepared with you in mind. In life, we will all face adversity, some more than others, based on either our socio-economic background or even the choices that we make. The key to successfully navigating out of or through the diversity lies within each and every one of us. I want to raise a few points for your attention this morning. And those these have worked for me in my journey, in my career. If I permit you to digress a bit, um, when I left the Alice School many years ago, um, I wanted to be a linguist. And that's not a career path that many people hear of a lot. But while I love all of my teachers, I particularly uh, was embraced by Mr. Knight, Mr. Niles, who taught me French, and Ms. Graves and Ms. Clark, who taught me Spanish. And I opted to go to Spanish. And I attended the Linguala Institute and the Venezuela Institute when I left school. And I just at the point when I was to off to Spain to do to complete my studies, my mother asked the question, who do we know in Spain again? And I said, no one. She said, I think you need to find a job. And then we look at that and look at a year later. And that job was RBC. And 40 years later, I am with RBC. I say that to say, Sometimes our past may change, but where we may go and where we make our impact, it does not make a difference as long as you always do your very best. I am grateful for all that I have achieved with RBC. We have a, a, a um, plan where you have, everyone has to have a development plan, and with that development plan, we do course of study throughout our career and you apply for jobs as they come up. There are a lot of people who enter the bank and are still in the same place where they were 40 years ago. So I consider myself to be privileged. I never said I've studied enough or learned enough. I always embrace knowledge. In the last year, I even completed an accounting professional's course out of movies. And I say that to say to you, always keep yearning for knowledge and learning because the more you have, the better you are to position yourself within this society or any society that you may join. The first point I want to raise with you, get up early. It is important that you start your day with a purpose. Being up early allows you to set a routine, plan, and make adjustments for any eventuality like this morning, Mr. Ali. I am aware that this may not happen every day, but ensure that you make it the norm. Remember the old saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Point number two, set clear and smart goals for yourself. Do not wait for anyone to chart your path. By smart, I mean, Make your goals specific. 
make them measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Plan, 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 and then plan again. I will always hear people talk about plan A and plan B. The alphabet has in 26 letters. It doesn't have to be two plans, it could be 26 plans or even more. These plans will keep you on track with a clear vision and outcome, even in the face of adversity. Be prepared for disappointments. We live in a perfectly imperfect world. The more you accept that as your plan, other issues may arise to derail your plans. Just by being aware of this can make a huge difference to your success. Disappointments will become will come. Be prepared. Stay focused. In my office, we have a slogan. Starve your distractions and feed your focus. In life, there are a lot of things coming your way to distract you. It is important that you stay focused. There are some positive and some negative. It is important that you focus on the things that will bring you success. This will allow you to be successful even though all around you may be in chaos. This calls for a great deal of self-reflection and self-analysis. As you are uniquely you and the most important person you will ever meet, make the investment and nurture it. Recognize when you are of course and get yourself back on the right path to success. Utilize your time wisely. Time is a precious gift. When we look around us and see the impact just from the last two years, we can all appreciate that what we do with the time we have is important. Many adults like myself look back on their school days and wonder where they could be now if only they had used their time wisely. If you ever find yourself with nothing to do, Get busy doing something positive to benefit yourself or someone else. All you have is today. Yesterday is gone. And tomorrow may never come. Talk less and listen. Talk less and listen more. This is something that we've come through life hearing quite a lot and we take it for granted. And it is so very true. It is in this phase of life that a lot of important life lessons are shared with you. If you are busy not paying attention, you will miss so many good pointers that can save you from making some very big mistakes. To avoid you having to learn from your mistakes, how about listening more? Or as we both of would say, get it right the first time. Read. Knowledge is power. Read as much as you can. Do not limit yourself to what you read. This is for your own personal development and allows you to communicate effectively. Use the words found in the English dictionary, not those other words that are easy to call and are not attractive. Manage social media. It is impossible for you not to use this medium given where we are in life. It is important how much time you devote to it and what information you are taking in. To keep a positive outlook on life and focus on what will bring you success, manage the information that comes your way. Not everything on social media is for your attention and absorption. As I said earlier, starve your distractions and feed your focus. Smile. To help with your self-esteem, how you are perceived, how you endear yourself to others, smile. Smile with and act to yourself as much as you do with others. Smile can warm a heart, diffuse the situation, and also bring comfort to others. Exercise, walk, run, jog, take the stairs. Exercise clears the mind, it keeps you healthy and fit, it reduces your stress and pain, and it provides clarity of mind. 
students, as I stand before you, my views was a proud media. It is in this context that I joined the Allen School alumni, recognizing that it is important to reach back and help others. It is also part of our school model for others not sad. Some 40 years ago, a group of smart Olympians like yourself decided to form this association as a means to give them back. They recognize, as we do today, that the board, principal, and staff cannot do it all and do not have all the resources available to support you. To this end, some of the activities we undertake are fundraising and donations to assist in providing you with scholarships, private funds, mentoring, and whatever is required to make your journey here better. I encourage you, when you see us out there or when there is information shared with you, come out and assist and support the activities as what we are doing is to support you. And we will make the concerted effort to visit you more often and support you here as well. Today, we did not come empty handed, and as such, we have donated one outdoor bench for your comfort and to support your mental health during the And we have another pledge, a pledge of two more, which will be delivered immediately after the one from the alumni. We do have a virtual line on Saturday evening, and with that, we will ensure that we sensitize the international audience of the Allen School so that we can have some more donations because the aim is to deliver you with 10 benches in, by the end of this year. As I close today, I want to leave you with a few nuggets. Team Allen School, I want you to always believe in your capabilities. I want you to always keep a positive mindset. It is important that you live on purpose. I want to encourage you to refuse to give up. And finally, I want you to embrace adversity as a chance for opportunity. I thank you.
Master of Ceremonies, Ms. Shirley Spridge, Chairman of the Board of Management of Smart Rooms, Featured Speaker and President of our Alumni and Ms. Daisy Cox, Relative of Sir John Gay Ali and Mr. Richie Ali, colleagues, specially invited guests, students, ladies, and gentlemen. Happy Founders Day 2022 to you. In Shakespeare's play, as you like it, one brother banished the other brother into the woods. He was accustomed to living in splendor. He was a king, after all. And while being in the woods, he realized that there was more to life than just having lots of money and having a lot of influence. Indeed, when he was in the woods, he learned the value, the true value of life. And he said these words, great, he said sweet rather, are the uses of adversity, which like the told, ugly and venomous, yet wears a precious jewel in his head. I repeat that. Sweet are the uses of adversity, which, like the told, ugly and venomous, yet there is a precious jewel in his head. You probably wonder what precious jewel is there in the head of the told. You can Google it, but partly there is something in the head of the told that is used in the making of medicine. And what the Duke was saying is that when things go wrong and we have to dig deep and as a student just signed, we are forced to rise up. We learn a lot and there is success even though it may not be the success that we are accustomed to. We have different levels of success even when we grapple with adversity. This is an example of success. Last year at this time, we were out of school. We were out of school and we barely had the opportunity to celebrate our Founders Day. So I want you to clap for this success today. I know that our founder, Sir John Gay Ali, will be very proud of this school which he founded so many years ago. I know that Mr. Richie Ali is proud because, again, you will hear me quote from Shakespeare fairly often, after all, I'm an English major. What's in the name? That's a question that is posed in another of Shakespeare's celebrated place, Romeo and Juliet, what is in a name? And everything is in a name because when we are stripped of everything, what we have left is our name. And names matter. And names are important. Therefore, you today, you must see yourself as successful because you are at one of the greatest educational institutions in Barbados, and that is the Ali School. <laughs> Never you forget that. And one of the things that this adversity has taught us is that we need to be more strategic in our planning, and we need to be more laser-like in our focus. I dare say, that having the first and second founders only in here today for Founders Day is not at all a statement of defeat. You are the ones who must carry on the great traditions of this institution. When persons like Shen and our head girl, Liana, and our head boy, Yohani, you have to carry on the traditions. 
And therefore, it is extremely important that you understand the culture and the great heritage into which you have come. So continue to enjoy Ali Week. Thank you, students. Thus far, you have made me very proud to be associated with the Ali School. And I'm sure I will come to our every city. And of course, our alumni, our chairman, and Mr. Richie Ali. Mr. Richie Ali, who carries that great name after our founder, Sir John Gay Ali. Happy Founders Day 2022. Good morning.
All who participated made this service a success. Members of the office staff and members of the support staff who continue to keep our surroundings and our environment sanitary and we are very to that. Thank you, Mr. Ritali, for gracious your presence this morning. Thank you. Thank you all.